Hi everyone, it's Mr. D. Happy Friday to everybody. Uh, today we are going to do a little workout using mostly jumping and a little bit of hopping. The difference between jumping and hopping is, is that when you are jumping, you are taking off and landing on two feet. And when you are hopping, you are taking off and landing on one foot. Okay? Uh, we luckily have this room in my house right now cleared out. And on the floor, I have placed a variety of things to jump on and over. We have some little cones. We have some taller cones, some rubber frisbees, and a very sturdy milk crate. When it comes to jumping, I want you to find some things for your child that are realistic for them to jump on or over. Of course, thinking about safety first, thinking about whether your kid is likely to trip or fall onto something. Um, think about what kind of surface you're going to be on that isn't too slippery. If your kid does have the skill to jump onto a box, make sure it's something sturdy and stable and you might even want someone sitting to the side holding it. That is not an activity you'd want them to do if they can't first jump over all the different types of cones with ease. But I'm going to demonstrate it as an option for some kids to try. All right. During some of this, my head might get cut off. I'm more worried about you seeing what my feet are doing than what my face looks like. So please forgive me if that's the case. I just don't have enough space to get everything in at the same time here. As I said before, jumping is on two feet. Your feet are together. You simply jump up and down. That would be one jump. We're going to try five jumps just to practice. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Those jumps were up and down in the same spot. Now we're gonna do five jumps forward and back. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. That was five forward and back jumps. Now we're going to do six jumps side to side. Those are sometimes called skier jumps. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. The next thing we're going to try is seeing if we can jump on some little spots or frisbees or dots. Whatever it is your parents want to use, you could also tape some pieces of paper or paper plates on the floor, or you could do it outside in your yard if it's not windy, and set some things on the grass or the sidewalk. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That was pretty easy, so now I'm going to move on to these cones that are just a little bit off the ground. You can even pick something as easy as setting down some towels to jump over or some very low soft objects that it really wouldn't matter if your kid accidentally stepped on because it wouldn't cause them to fall. These cones are really collapsible, so it doesn't affect me if I hit them. So I'm going to try jumping over these, not on them. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I've got two taller cones here in the front. These ones are a little bit more dangerous because if you land on top, it could cause you to fall. So please don't do this if your kid can't handle it or pick something that you know won't, won't cause them to get hurt. We're just going to jump forward over. Here we go. One. Now when you do these bigger jumps, you might need to swing your arms to help you lift yourself up in the air. Here we go again. Two. Three. And four. 
since, since I was able to do forward jumps, I'm now going to try some skier jumps. Remember, skier jumps are jumping side to side over. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Since I could do those, my last big challenge is jumping up off onto an object. You might have something outside you could use, like a stump or some type of wood box. Just make sure it's stable. Make sure it's not going to easily tip over. Honestly, if my kids were trying this with me, I would, I would come to the side and hold it while they're back here. But here we go. <laughs> Hopefully I don't have a blooper here. Jump up, jump down. Jump up and down. We'll do two more. Good. Everything we worked on there was jumping, two feet, jumping on two, landing on two. We're going to try a little bit of hopping. Hopping is jumping on one and landing on that same foot. So if I was on my right leg, on my right foot, I hop up and land on the same foot. My other knee will swing up a little bit to help me lift my body in the air. Let's try five of those. One, two, three, four, five. Now I'm going to switch and go on my left leg. It's going to look mirrored to you, of course. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. If your kid's able to do those, which frankly will be impressive because that's a pretty challenging task for kids. You can, of course, try some of these similar things that you did with jumping, but now with hopping. I'll just show one as an example. I could try hopping on my dots. That's much more challenging balance-wise than the jumping. Another thing you could try would be leaping. If you just want to throw one more fun thing in there, leaping is taking off on one foot and landing on the other. So you run up and leap over your object. You run and leap over. I hope you guys enjoyed that stuff. Please give it a try. Let me know how you do. Bye, everybody. Have a great weekend.